story locally that seems to be following a national trend. A 15-year-old girl reports being raped at an alcohol-fueled house party. Now Tarpon Springs police are telling us they have arrested a 17-year-old boy. Our Jacqueline Inglace joins us now live with the very latest on this. Good evening, Jacqueline. I'm here outside of Tarpon Springs High School where we're now learning from students who are coming out from after school activities that word of this alleged rape and arrest are spreading and now the parents are hearing about it. Now police tell us there's a house party over the weekend at this 17-year-old boy's Tarpon Springs home. Now we're not naming this boy because he is not being charged as an adult. What we can tell you though is that his parents were not at home when this party took place, but there was alcohol there. According to police, a 15-year-old freshman here at this high school was at that party, became intoxicated, and then was taken to a bedroom to lay down. Police say the 17-year-old boy admitted to going back into the bedroom and having consensual sex with this girl. The girl, however, told police she didn't give consent. Now, here just a few minutes ago are what some of their classmates told us. At school, he was really, really popular. Like, everyone liked him. All the girls had crushes on him. Um, personally, I would never think that this alleged would ever be brought on to the person. There's a lot of gossiping going on. You see people whispering to each other about what happened, who they think is right, who they think is wrong. We're told that this arrest is dividing students, and now they're taking sides on social media. They're even creating hashtags on Twitter. Now, what we're working on is at 11 for you, as you'll hear from those parents, and we'll also tell you what else students say went on at those parties. For now, though, we're live in Tarpon Springs. Jacqueline Inglis, ABC Action News. Jacqueline, this is the third such case to happen around the country since last summer. Three teenagers in San Jose, California were just arrested last week after allegedly raping a girl that was passed out drunk during a Labor Day party. Audrey Potts' family said the humiliation ultimately led her to commit suicide. And two former high school football players in Ohio are sitting in prison right now after being convicted last month of raping a girl who was passed out drunk during a party last summer. Now, certified Tampa.